Hey everyone, this is Smoothie. Welcome to Q Automation Classes. So today we are going to start with a new series called as Git, and uh, we have uh, both command line interface as well as we have graphical user interface. But in this specific series, we'll be talking mostly about IntelliJ IDEA and the uh, graphical user interface that it provides to interact with the Git. Okay, and uh, as you know git uh, is a mechanism right through which we access the different different version control system and we have the different different version control system like uh, we have uh, git uh, hub we have git lab we have uh, bitbucket also so let's open and see we need to understand first what is git and what is this uh, version control system so let's say github okay. so So this is one of the uh, uh, version control system called as the GitHub. Similarly, we have GitLab. Okay. So if you see, this is also one of the version control system that is called as the GitLab. Similarly, we have Bitbucket also. Okay. Bitbucket. Okay. So this is also and this version control systems they support the git mechanisms right so there are the different things that we can perform with the help of the git commands right so since we will be using the uh, graphical user interface we will not be using the commands but the concepts are same if we know like uh, commit instead of using a command we can do it graphically that we will see throughout the courses but let's try to understand what is the difference between the git and this repositories or the version control system so git is a mechanism and version control system allows uh, your uh, code or your IntelliJ to interact with this version control system through the git mechanisms okay and uh, these are nothing but the version control system where you will push or store your code and if we need we can pull them to our local repository also so this is nothing but you can consider it as a version control system which is hosted in the internet or internet wherever it can be hosted and this can be uh, you will interact with it and you will be pushing your changes to them and you will be pulling the changes from them through a mechanism called as git so in order to do that we need to have a git in our system okay let's say git download so if you go here git scm.com open this one git download and we are working on windows click on windows and 64 bit windows setup okay so now it will get downloaded after that we'll start installing this and then we can configure it with our intellij idea right that's the plan so yeah, it's almost done. Let me open. Okay. Okay, still going on. Okay, we can wait for a minute. Okay, so it is done. Show in folder. So now let's go and install this one. Okay. So this is 2.41.0.3 and it is 64 bit. Okay. So we'll start installing this one. Get. And so this get will be interacting with one of them. And uh, yeah, uh, you can see git for Windows. Okay. Yes. So the installation started. So next. It is going to install in C program files and git. I'm okay with that. Okay. So additional icon on the desktop. No, I don't want to have it. Okay. So next git next. The beam editor. Okay, that's okay. We'll go with the default setting. Let git decide. Okay. Next git from the command line, also from the third party software use git from git bash only so let's go with the default setting only here also all right and bundled open sshs talk to is filling no here also default let's go with the default here also next check out window style commit unique style line index so these are the setups which we need to understand when we 
want to work from the command line since we will be working from the IntelliJ prompt so it will be okay so whatever we can go with the default okay default fast forward or merge reverse so this will see in the course of our uh, so different session you will see uh, what is the fast forward how the merging happens how the rebasing happens right so let's say next okay next install so let it install and uh, in the meantime let's understand uh, this git and this uh, version controls i already explained you right so this uh, git we will connect with to one of this uh, uh, version control system right github or gitlab or the bitbucket if you go to the organization you might see they might be using gitlab or bitbucket and uh, and this github is the popular one and it is free to use so in this tutorial we'll be going to use the github only and uh, through this github we'll have to create an account if you don't have an account i would request all of you to go and uh, sign you know, like uh, log, go to the login page and create an account here right? and uh, give your information and uh, welcome to github it will ask enter your email id so you can follow the steps and uh, create a account and after the account is created we're good to go then we'll see okay launch git bash let's see then we'll integrate and then we'll see so this is the bash okay okay it's okay so if you see this is the git bash so we can work from the uh, command prompt or we can go with the uh, intelligent ui prompt so git hyphen v so if you see it shows the git version is 2.41.0 okay if you see i'll expand it git version 2.41.0 dot windows dot three so this is our git version so we are done with the git installation and in the next session we'll be seeing how to uh, configure it with IntelliJ and then we'll start uh, creating the project and do all like creating branch and all those uh, git related concept will be in the uh, upcoming sessions okay so if you like the content i would request you to subscribe to my channel so thank you guys so we'll meet tomorrow thank you